Each pram represents a child taken or killed by Hamas, set up by Jewish parents who fear a conflict over 2,000 miles away has implications for their children here in the UK. There seems to be this cry, this call for um, a unified message against Jews around the world, against Israelis around the world. Um, it feels deeply threatening and uncomfortable. I don't know. I don't know if we have a future here as British Jews. I can't believe that my, parents, my grandparents came here and saw this as a refuge and were welcomed with open arms and now maybe, maybe we need to go. Maybe that's what people want. Maybe they just want the Jews to go. Concerns, they say, amplified by Palestine solidarity marches. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free! This chant, viewed by many Jews as anti-Semitic, who claim it's a call for genocide and the destruction of Israel. These protesters, who say they're marching for a ceasefire and end to occupation, insist that's not what they mean. It literally means from the River Jordan to the Mediterranean Sea, the Palestinian people will be free. That's what we're asking for, the freedom of all people. Palestinian people aren't any less. The police say the chant is lawful in protest settings, but in Jewish spaces, potentially criminal. And while the main march was largely peaceful, they've been criticised for their handling of a separate Palestine march, led by extremist group Hizbah Tahrir. No offences were committed, the police said, as jihad has multiple meanings. The government, however, says it will be having words with the Metropolitan Police. Chanting uh, jihad on the streets of London is completely reprehensible, and I never want to see scenes like that. Uh, it is inciting terrorist violence, and it needs to be tackled with the full force of the law. But this incident on a London tube, apparently led by the driver, is being investigated. With emotions high on both sides, respect and empathy is needed now more than ever. Subba Chowdhury, Sky News.